Hello. In this video, I'll be doing rotations on a coordinate grid, or in other words, doing rotations here on this graph. And the way I have this problem set up is I'm starting with four points right here at the top, one point right at the origin, another point at the coordinates 2, 4, right 2, up 4, 3, 6, or right 3, up 6, and 4, 4, right 4, up 4. So we're starting with that little flag right there, and I'm going to be rotating it three different times. The rotations that I'll be doing are given by these three coordinate rules right here. And the way these are written, if we start with any point, x, y, according to this rule, what we will do is to do the rotation, we are going to take these two coordinates, x, y, we're going to reverse their order and change the sign of the second one. The negative sign doesn't necessarily mean the second point will be negative, it just means we're going to change the sign. It will be the opposite of what it was when it started. So we're going to take the two, we're going to reverse the order, make the second one negative. So let's do that, use that rule on each of these four points to see what the new points will be after this rotation has taken place. So the point zero, zero is easy. When we change that one, it stays 0, 0. Let's apply this rule to the next point, 2, 4. I'm going to reverse the order, 4, 2, and change the sign of the second one. It is positive here, so I'm going to change it to negative. Let's do, apply the rule to this point, 3, 6. Reverse the order, change the sign of the second one from positive to negative. And finally, the point 4, 4. I reverse the order, looks pretty much the same, but now I change the sign of the second one. So those are the new points right there. So now let's graph those points on the coordinate grid down here on the graph. So we'll start with the point zero, zero, still right at the origin. The next point is four, negative two, or right four, one, two, three, four, down two, one, two, and there's the point. The next one is 6, 3. I'm sorry, 6, negative 3. So it's right 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down 3, 1, 2, 3. And there's the next point. And the final point is 4, negative 4. So right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And those are the points. So we'll connect those with a line. And there we go. There is our new flag. It has rotated from this position here, rotated down to this new position here. The center of rotation, by the way, is going to be the origin. So let's move to the next one. What does the next rule tell us? The next rotation is going to follow this second rule. And the second rule says any point x, y, we will change the coordinates by leaving them in the same order, but we're going to change the sign of both numbers. Change the sign of both numbers. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean the signs will be negative. The negative here implies that we will do the opposite to whatever sign it was originally. So, let's apply this rule to these points again. 0, 0 will remain 0, 0, but 2, 4 becomes negative 2, negative 4. 3, 6 becomes negative 3, negative 6, and 4, 4 becomes negative 4, negative 4. All I did was change the signs of all of our original points to get the new points here. Let's graph them. 0, 0 is still at the origin. Negative 2, negative 4 is 2 to the left, down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 3, negative 6 is 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, and down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 4, negative 4 is 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are the new points. We can connect them again with a line just like we did last time. And there is our new flag. It is now rotated around from our initial flag up here, rotate around to that new point right there. 
Let's do one last rotation following this last rule here. So we're going to again take our original points and we're going to alter them based on this third rule. In, in this rule, any point x, y will be altered by reversing the order of the two, y, x, but changing the sign of the first one now, changing the sign of that y. So if it originally was positive, it will become negative. If it was originally negative, it will become positive. So let's see. Again, the point zero, zero is not very interesting at the origin. That will stay the same. It is not changed by that rule. But let's change this point now. Again, we reverse the order. 4, 2. It was 2, 4. We reverse the order to 4, 2. And we change the sign of the first one. It was positive, so now we'll make it negative. Let's reverse the order of this point. 3, 6 becomes 6, 3 change the sign of the first point. And 4, 4, we reverse the order. Well, since they're the same, nothing changes. But we're going to change the sign of that first coordinate right there. So those are the new coordinates of, of these after we have followed this coordinate rule to create another rotation. So let's now graph this last set of points here. 0, 0 is at the origin. Negative 4, 2 is 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. Negative 6, 3 is 6 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3, 1, 2, 3. And negative 4, 4 is 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there are the new points. Let's connect them with lines. And there is the new position of the flag. So there's our flag. We started with this original. Our original four points gave us this flag. The next set of points gave us this flag. The next set of points here. And the final set there. Let's finish this off by describing these rotations. So whenever you're describing rotations, the first thing that we need to do is we need to specify the center of rotation. And in all of these, the center of rotation is going to be the origin. I'm going to actually leave that off from here, but that is an important thing uh, that you have to keep in mind. The center of rotation is the origin. But the other two things that you need to do, and I will write them here, you need to describe the number of degrees that the shape or object will be rotating, and you also have to describe the direction, either clockwise, clockwise like the hands of a clock, clockwise, or counterclockwise, which I'll abbreviate is CCW, which is opposite the hands of a clock, counterclockwise. So let's start from here. As we get from this original flag to this one, we are rotating in this direction one quarter of the way around the circle, a quarter of the way around the circle, a quarter of 360 degrees is a 90 degree clockwise rotation. A 90 degree clockwise rotation. And you can just eyeball it here that this does make a right angle. So that does indicate that it will be a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. How about from this flag here to this green flag down here? How many degrees is that? Well, that's halfway around a circle. Half of 360 is a 180 degree clockwise rotation. And the final one, to get from this original flag all the way around to this red flag is three quarters of the way around a circle. Or 90 plus 90 plus 90. 90 plus 90 plus 90, or 90 times 3 is 270 degree clockwise rotation. So these coordinate rules, x, y becomes y negative x, is the rule that you'll use anytime you want to do a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. The rule x, y becomes negative x negative y is what you use for a 180 degree clockwise rotation. And the rule x, y becomes negative y is the rule you'll use to alter the coordinates if you're doing a 
270 degree clockwise rotation. One final comment on this is 90 degrees clockwise rotation. Can you describe that in another way? What if you went counterclockwise from this point counterclockwise, how many degrees would it take to get here? Well, it would be a 90 plus a 90 plus a 90. So this would be 90 degrees clockwise or 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270 degrees counterclockwise. This rule would work for both because 90 degrees clockwise takes you to the exact same spot as 270 degrees counterclockwise. They'll take you to the same place. So this rule can be used for either rotation. 180 degrees clockwise is the same as 180 degrees counterclockwise. And 270 degrees clockwise goes from the gray to the red. What if you went counterclockwise? How many degrees would that be? And again, there's our right angle. 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So those rotations are really two different ways of describing the exact same thing. So there are the coordinate rules for uh, some rotations around the origin by going 90, 180, or 270 degrees uh, starting with that initial flag. Hopefully that makes some sense and good luck on any problems that you are attempting to do.